For decades, the Clovis First model reigned supreme. This model painted a picture of our planet's past where the first humans to set foot in the Americas were the Clovis people. Named after the town of Clovis, New Mexico, where their distinctive stone tools were first unearthed, these early inhabitants left their mark in the form of unique spear points, fluted at the base, to facilitate their attachment to wooden shafts. These Clovis points, meticulously crafted around 13,500 years ago, were thought to be the definitive calling card of the America's first inhabitants. The Clovis first model didn't just rely on the physical evidence of these points, it was also underpinned by robust radiocarbon dating. This dating method allowed scientists to confidently place the Clovis people at the dawn of human habitation in the Americas. Yet, as with any scientific theory, the Clovis first model was destined to undergo scrutiny to be tested and challenged by new evidence and fresh perspectives. This theory relied heavily on robust radiocarbon dating of these distinctive spear points. Then came Monte Verde, a well-preserved archaeological gold mine. Nestled in the verdant hills of southern Chile, this site has been a game-changer in our understanding of the peopling of the Americas. What makes it so special, you ask? Well, Monte Verde is home to an array of artifacts, including stone tools, wooden implements, and even the remnants of ancient hearths, all indicative of a flourishing human settlement. But the most striking feature of Monte Verde is its age. Thanks to the marvels of accelerator mass spectrometry, a highly accurate form of radiocarbon dating, we can confidently date these artifacts to around 14,500 years ago. That's a whole millennium before the Clovis, the purported first Americans, are believed to have set foot on the continent. What's even more fascinating is the sheer diversity of the Monte Verde findings. We're not just talking about spearheads here. We're talking about a wide range of tools, from woodworking implements to plant processing equipment. It appears that the inhabitants of Monte Verde were resourceful generalists skilled in a variety of survival strategies. This predates Clovis by a millennia. But the plot thickens. As we delve deeper into the layers of Monte Verde, we stumble upon another layer, Monte Verde I. This deeper layer whispers tales of an even earlier human presence, potentially stretching back as far as 18,500 years. Now, this is where the controversy kicks in. Some archaeologists argue that these deeper layers might have been contaminated, casting a shadow of doubt over the validity of the dates. It's critical to note that dating archaeological sites is a complex process and isn't always clear-cut. Factors like the stratigraphy of the site, the preservation of artifacts, and the potential for intrusion from later periods can all muddy the waters of interpretation. So while the evidence from Monte Verde 1 is tantalizing, it's also contentious. Here's the scientific rub. Some archaeologists argue for potential contamination of these deeper layers, questioning the validity of the dates. Regardless of the exact dates, Monte Verde unveils a fascinating story. Unlike the big game hunting Clovis culture, the inhabitants of Monte Verde lived a different lifestyle. Their survival didn't solely rely on hunting, they were resourceful generalists. They created a broad range of tools, not just for hunting, but also for woodworking and plant processing. This diverse toolkit indicates a wider range of subsistence strategies. Their toolkit goes beyond projectile points, encompassing implements for woodworking, plant processing, and a wider range of subsistence strategies. Monte Verde, even with its debated chronology, throws a wrench into the Clovis first model. The evidence unearthed paints a picture of early humans potentially arriving via coastal routes, challenging the established ice-free corridor theory. More than just their arrival, the diverse toolkit of the Monte Verde inhabitants narrates a story of resourcefulness and versatility, far from the big game hunting Clovis culture. Additionally, the diverse toolkit hints at a more nuanced picture of human adaptation in the Americas. The Monte Verde saga continues. As we speak, ongoing excavations and advanced analytical techniques, like microfossil analysis and optically stimulated luminescence dating, are being employed to refine our understanding of this intriguing site. With every layer of soil turned, every artifact unearthed, we inch closer to revealing more of Monte Verde's secrets. While the exact timeline is under debate, one thing's for sure, 
Monteverde compels us to rewrite the narrative of human arrival in the Americas. Thank you for joining. As we close this chapter of our journey, we appreciate your company in this exploration of the Monteverde mystery. Remember, science is an ongoing conversation, so stay tuned for more captivating tales from the annals of archaeology. Until next time, keep your curiosity piqued and your mind open.